The fact that this mascara is both smudge proof and waterproof is definitely one of my favorite things. Hi guys, it's Carla Ricuzzo and I'm back in the Maybelline Makeup Loft today creating a soft smoky eye using the Tattoo Studio Smoky Gel Liner. Let's get straight into this tutorial. I'm going to talk you through step by step. Before we get into my eyes, it's super important to create a beautiful and flawless base and I'm doing that using the Super Stay Active Wear from Maybelline. So it's going on really nice and flawlessly because I'm just stippling it into the skin. I've only used one layer in this video so you don't need too much, a little goes a long way. Now I want to prep my eyes ready for my shadow, so I'm taking my Fit Me Concealer from Maybelline in the shade 15 and I'm running it over the eyes to create a beautiful sticky surface. This is going to help my eyeshadow and my liner last so much longer. To get started on my smoky eye, I'm taking my Nudes of New York from Maybelline. These shadows are so creamy and so buttery, it makes it so easy to apply. So I'm firstly going in with Self Starter with a blending brush. I'm taking that on the outer corners of my eyes and then through the socket. This is just going to fade really nicely into my liner and give me a very sultry, smoky look. Now I'm just going to continue blending that out before picking up my Maybelline Tattoo Studio Smoky Gel Liner. The best thing about this liner is that it is so creamy, but it has a smudgy applicator at the back. So the best part about it is that you apply it directly onto the skin using the crayon. You build up your desired look, obviously how thick and how much you want to wear, before then swapping it over to the smudgy side and then smudging it all out. This just makes it so much more gentle to apply over the eye and you can create a really lovely blended look. Not only does a smudgy applicator make it so much more easier to apply to your face, but the bold intensity lasts for up to 36 hours, which means you can go out all day or all night and it won't be running down your face. There is also a small sharpener underneath the smudgy applicator which makes it really easy to sharpen the pencil. Now moving on to using my Fit Me Concealer again, I'm just going to sharpen up the edges of the smoky eye. So we're going to make it really nice and intense. I'm just going to apply a little bit through the front and a little through the outer corner of my eye just to create a really nice sharp shadow. Now to create some bottom smokiness, I'm taking the pencil and running it through my bottom lashes. Because the pencil is so precise, it actually makes it pretty easy to do before just swapping it over to the smudgy side and just making sure it's all properly blended and easily connected to my top shadow. Then I'm going in with my Colossal 36 Hour Wear Mascara. It's absolutely incredible, both smudge proof and waterproof. It is clump free and you can see just how much density it brings to my lashes. Now a tip when applying your mascara, always take the brush to the root of the lash and then wiggle it through the hairs. This is going to create massive density for your lashes and it'll look so much more flawless. Can you see the comparison between one eye to the other? It has made so much density in my lashes and that's why I love this mascara. The fact that this mascara is both smudge proof and waterproof is definitely one of my favorite things about it. The best tip that I can give when creating a smoky eye is to make sure that your base balances as well. I'm going in with my favorite bronzer, which is the City Bronzer from Maybelline, and I'm taking that on a fluffy brush all around my face. This is going to complement the shadows of the Nudes of New York that I placed in the socket lines of my eye, and then I'm going in with my shade 15 Fit Me Blush on top of my contour. The reason why I'm doing this is just to raise my cheekbones a little bit and to create a really beautiful, flawless look. I'm highlighting my face today with the Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter. Because I created a beautiful matte look using my Nudes of New York palette, I wanted to create a little bit of shimmer on my face to help balance it. Now the last step I'm going to do today is take my Super State Matte Ink Poet. It is such a beautiful pink shade and I've just complemented this whole look with a light pinky nude lip. Well that's all from me guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thank you so much Maybelline for having me on your makeup loft. I'll see you guys next time.